What's up guys, it's your boy Sam and I'm back with another update video. So today um, I'm posting my six month video on testosterone. It's been a while, I would say three months. I haven't posted a video since my third month update. I've made the videos but I haven't posted them. I was way too busy, haven't gotten around to even posting them. They're just really long. The first one I didn't post was my fourth month update. Um, it was really long. It was like an hour long. So I was going to have to like edit it and cut it. And I just never had the time to sit down. I ended up getting married. Um, I just got back from my honeymoon. Um, my transition is going really well. So I did want to do a few updates um, and kind of retrack on what I didn't post about, um, because I decided I'm just not going to post. It's just, there's no point. I'm already six months. So, um, all the editing and all that. Like, I wanted the footage for, you know, my transition about the changes, but those two months, three months, whatever, isn't really going to matter. Um, because I'm six months now, and the changes that happen now are what matters. Um... So, I'm going to probably not do every month, especially now that I'm six months, definitely things are going to not necessarily slow down, but like, even out, level out, kind of what they've been doing. I've been having a pretty gradual transition. I like it. Everything kind of runs into each other. Um, in August, I actually had my period. First time ever. Had medical problems where I wouldn't have my, my period. And, um, it actually happened during my third month video, but I never got around to talk about it. Um, but yeah, so that's actually stopped. It's November now. Um, it, I ended up changing my dose to, from 60 megs a week to 70 megs a week. Um, it was 0.3 mils and now it's 0.35 mils roughly because they gave me a three mil syringe and it only goes by half mils so you know in lines it really it doesn't go that low that small um but yeah it stopped so i was supposed to get it by now two weeks ago and i haven't gotten it um but that was very um not traumatizing but it, it just made me so uncomfortable I didn't have my period before transitioning. I was expecting it. Actually, I wasn't. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but I was ready for it in case it needed to come. Um, and then when it was here, it was so irregular. It lasted like all month, on and off. But it wasn't a whole period. It was spotting, so that I had like the better end of the stick with that at least. Um, but so far for November, we're good. Um, I guess my dose changed is nothing but good. You know, I've had a voice drop since my dose changed, so that's good. Um, I feel more of a frog in my throat now, so I don't know if my Adam's apple wants to come out or not, but that would be pretty good. Um, being thicker, you know, a heavy set guy, I'm not expecting so much with Adam's apple and all of that going on here. Um, or really like my hands, but I do notice my hands are becoming more formal. Like there's a vein there now, and that was like never there. So I'm having more like definition in my arms. I'm not working out or anything, but the fact, you know, it's not there. And then one day it is there. If I work out, I know I can get gains like... You put the work in, you're going to get what you do. You're going to get what you dish out. Um, but basically, I think I'm going to just do the six month update and just delete those other two videos because it was a lot of rambling and on and off. And It's an update. Everybody's different. Everybody transitions at a different pace. And I remember I was very, you know, upset and thinking I was slowly transitioning. And I've only gotten positive feedback about how great and how jealous other guys are of me and you know it feels good to be on that side of the road but i do feel bad because i was in their shoes at one point and it's like don't worry man 
You're gonna, your body will figure it out. Your body will go and gradually, and you will be where you need to be at the time you need to be in. Um, but yeah, like my hairline has changed. Uh, it definitely squared out. I ended up like shaving this part and only this part came back. I shaved here, here, and none of that came back. So my hair squared out, you know, my hairdresser <laughs> is my cousin. So luckily, you know, I guess I get away with it a little bit. Probably not. But uh, she was so mad that I cut my hair. She's like, why would you do that? It looks so stupid. I'm like I get in perm. So the perm is going to cover it, which it does. But I told her why. I wanted to see if it would grow back. So she understood. She hated it, but she understood. She didn't understand because she doesn't go through it. But she told me, she's like, all right, I get it, I guess. Um, but yeah, so my acne, I think since my dose went up, I think it went down some. Even though I was on my honeymoon all last week, I ended up not really washing my face much, my routine my minoxidil routine, everything went under the table. Um, I think I ended up washing my face like twice. Um, and my face really didn't break out. If anything, it cleared up a little bit. So yeah, I think the dose, my dose going up, I think that that was definitely a plus for me. I ended up needing to get blood work soon um, because of the dose change. So he wanted to check everything out. Um, my progesterone actually went up the last blood test, so that's why he agreed, I guess, to up my dose. Um, and then that's also why he told me to get a blood check in a month, because he upped my dose. So we're going to see how that works out. Um, everything is great. Um, I'm more confident in passing more of that whole trip I passed. Coming back, hearing she heard from the fam. You know, it's not exciting, but I know it's on a purpose to each his own. You know, if you don't feel safe, don't stay. But, you know, I'm not in that position where if you, you know, if you purposely do it, I want you in my life. But if you're making mistakes, you know, and you're referring to people we don't know and me as a him and he around them and I see you trying, you know, that that's worth it. And I've done way more stuff worse to my family. That calling me a girl once in a while is not going to be the end of the world. And to be honest, she she is a, my mom. Misgenders my pets and her pets all the time. So I don't... It, it's really nothing. I It bothers me sometimes, but that's what i got to talk myself through. And it's not necessarily for everybody, you know. Sometimes it is in an unsafe environment. So don't necessarily take my word of advice. But also don't listen to everybody and cut everybody off in your life just because of that. Um, depending, you know, if you do feel unsafe, then so be it. Like, every situation is different. But I am doing great. I pass, you know, I'm comfortable. And I'm getting my name changed. I'm in the process of getting my name changed. It was approved to be done pro bono. Um, because you just can't live in this day and age and fork over a few hundred bucks just to get your name changed. No matter how, you know, viable you think it is. I can't afford it. I prefer to have lights on and food in my fridge and my pets have, you know, stuff my wife is taken care of. So unfortunately, a name change would not be in anywhere money or for future if it wasn't for this pro bono service. So they're going to um, get in touch with me soon and that will be done. So that's great. My top surgery is not going to be done till. I get to North Carolina, but that's fine because my wife needs a reduction. And I feel her reasons are just a little more better than mine. Um, she did offer for me to get mine done first, but I told her, you know, based on her situation, she, I feel she could use it before me. Um, you know, I'm always going to feel this way. Uh, I want her to get her situation fixed before it causes more damage, you know? And in some situations, top dysphoria is a situation where you do need to get it done before it does more damage, but I know in my life and in my circumstances, it's 
I think I'll be okay till I move to North Carolina. And based on results, I think I found honestly better results in North Carolina, but I know there are plenty of options with me being in the tri-state area alone, so I can't really say that I'm kind of, you know. But nonetheless, um, I'm growing a lot more hair everywhere, my stomach, my back, my back starts to itch now because it's growing hair, so, you know, when your face itches because it's growing hair, like, it's kind of annoying. My wife is like, ew, we're not doing that, I gotta shave it, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. Um, my stomach is getting more hairier, my happy trail is getting thicker, uh, my chest hair is growing in, or was, because I put on trans tape while I was on the cruise, to go in the ocean so when you take it off kind of takes everything else off <laughs> speaking of my shots when I get my shots weekly my band-aid hurts every time a little more because I get a little more hair on my thighs every week so it's like oh this week I was like just do it and I just bit my and I just did it I was like oh not, not, not great times, body hair. <laughs> but I mean, I don't have to put a band-aid on, but it's all good. That's just, you know, slight, slight things. They, you know, are just pain, but it's all good. It comes with it. Um, yeah, everything, everything is great. My shots, I actually ended up, besides my dose, I changed them to IM accidentally last week and it turns out it's so much better for me i do have to talk to my doctor about it but i'm sure it's not that big of a deal um basically i was getting like a rash every time i did my sub q shots it started my stomach 12 weeks in my doctor told me to try my thighs it only was better because my stomach wasn't itching my thighs were so it was a little more doable but it didn't stop it so i was in a rush last week um we had an excursion i was on a honeymoon so I don't have all day to wait around to do a shot. Um, and time doesn't really matter when you do a shot. I still stick to my time. So I ended up doing it early in the morning, which I didn't really care about. But I was in a rush. So I stuck it in and I didn't do the 45 degree angle. And I have a one inch needle. It doesn't really matter about the gauge. It matters about the length of the needle. So I ended up doing an I am shot. And I only know that. Because that night and the next morning, I never broke out in that rash. Um, it was kind of painful and sore, but then it went away. And this week, I decided to do the same. And no rash, but it is sore and a little swollen. But it will go away. I could ice it, take some Tylenol, and it'll be fine. It's a lot doable than a rash lasting four to five days, so... Uh, like I said, I'm going to talk to my doctor and I'll explain him the situation because I did mention it earlier about the whole rash. That's why he told me to switch um, sites. And he said I shouldn't be allergic. I heard people can be, but he said I shouldn't be to this one. So whatever, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I really don't mind. I don't want to change too much around with all that because of insurance situations. Um, and that's the next thing. My insurance is so expensive, but it covers tea and it does what I need. So, but my job is actually getting rid of my insurance, it's making the situation kind of worse for everybody at my job. But my wife got insurance through her job just recently, and it is so cheap for her and for both of us when we go to the doctors. But for her, it's less than $10. Everything added up, I think it's less than $20, but I was paying like over 100, nearly 200 every two weeks. She's paying like at least 20 bucks a week for this. So we are going to go through her insurance and it's a Aetna versus my insurance. Um, who do I have? I don't even know who I have. I think I have um, Cigna. Yeah, right now I have Cigna. And Cigna is wide known, but Aetna and Blue Cross Blue Shield, those are the most wide known and the most accepted insurance companies. So 
a lot of top surgeons accept those. And it's just a really good company. If I've had both with my mom working for her job for over 20 years, she's had both of those insurance and they've been our, my best insurance. Going to Cigna, it's been a much downgrade, much of a downgrade, but it hasn't been a problem for my testosterone prescriptions. So that's a plus. I'm changing my insurance and I won't have to fork over the nearly 200 my wife has to throw in a few bucks, but that's not a big deal. So I I love being married. You know, we got married in September, on September 25th. It's been nothing but great. We went on a cruise last week. Um, Barbados, St. Kitts, St. Thomas, St. Martin, St. Lucia, and St. Croix. Um, it, was, it was fun. I, it was her first cruise. It was my, like, sixth cruise cruise it was a blast we had fun it was the first cruise that they did we went on Royal Caribbean since COVID so you know it was a big change if you ever been on a cruise um from then till now it's a big change but it was kind of normal and to be honest I felt safer on the boat than I do at like my home because it was mask all the time and I know a lot of people might find that annoying or they can't deal with that but to get the experience you want, it was worth it, kind of thing. You know, we had bracelets to say that we were vaccinated. And, you know, it, it was it was a great time, and I would definitely recommend going to Barbados. 10 out of 10. I've been to all the other islands. Um, I don't think I went to St. Lucia before. But, yeah, it, it was really great, and the food was amazing. She fell in love. She was so nervous. She'd never been on, like, a boat, but she enjoyed it, and, uh, I was Mr. Sam, so it was, it was great. Um, everybody was happy, everybody was great, everybody was nice, and the past three months between my transition and my life, I'm doing great, so I don't know if you've watched my past videos and you were worried about me at all, but I know I was, I wasn't sure if this was what I wanted. Never second guess transitioning, but I wasn't sure if I opened up a can of worms I wasn't ready for. Um, as in like, I'm so used to watching everybody on video and YouTube where people are saying their lives are torn apart just because they want to be who they are. But if anything, it only made my life better. So it's kind of a touchy subject. It's touch and go. You got to Play it as you go. Some people, you know, it's a scary, scary situation and it gets worse. And others, it, it gets better. And, you know, you got to bring up each other and help each other out. And if you are on the better end of the stink where you have a good support system, use that advantage and help others and teach others. So the people that are going through the bad part, it will get easier eventually for them because more people need to understand and more people need to be allies. And it's not necessarily a trend. It's not necessarily a way of life that you have to live. It's just the person coming out as who they are. You're just simply not born in the right body. You know? So, enough to enough. Enough is enough. <laughs> I'm going to stop ranting about all that. And uh, I want everybody to keep watch for my next videos and thanks for tuning in and um i guess i'll see you next time i post so uh
my name is Sam, and this is my voice, Preeti. Hi, my name is Sam, and this is my voice, Six Months on Testosterone, and I'm in St. Martin.